This is my 55 gallon honeycomb catfish and pygmy quarry tank. And at first glance, it looks relatively empty. It does have some algae issues, and you can see my scourge of duckweed is back. So I need to spend some time working in this tank to clear out some of the algae and just fine tune things. Um, but you can see the plants, for the most part, are doing really well. My moss is going bonkers. In fact, I pulled out about a basketball of it last week. The crypts and the pots are looking really good. Um, the hygrophila is growing, though it does have some nutrient deficiencies as seen by the holes in the leaves. Really, I should just trim it back. Um, but yeah. thought that during this uh, pandemic we're all going through, each day or every other day I would pick a tank, refresh your memory on it, and then feed it so we can look at the fish. Um, with me having, oh I don't know, a bunch of tanks, this will get us through several weeks of the boredom that is being enforced. Um, I know I feel really lucky that my family has stable income because my husband is essential personnel, but at the same time, it's sort of scary because he has to go to work every day. So let's today feed the honeycomb cats and watch them come out of the woodwork and enjoy their wiggles. I'm just gonna give them Sarah Onip simply because it sticks to the glass and then you guys can actually see them. You'll see them start to come out pretty darn quickly. I wish I wasn't out of frozen food because feeding these guys frozen food is super fun. They'll eat right out of your hand. Now to refresh your memory about these guys, they're so cute. Um, these are a fish that utilize internal fertilization like a guppy. So the males have a modified fin that they use for that internal fertilization, that's super pointy. Uh, and the females have a fan-shaped fin and then they lay eggs. Uh, I've been trying to get these guys to go but I really think I need some live or frozen food and I just, I haven't had it. But catfish can also take quite a while to mature, so who knows. But you can see the sexual dimorphism. I think of these guys as sort of like, like one of those gateway fish for couples. You know, if you have one person that's super into live bears and another person that's super into egg layers, these guys kind of have the best of both worlds in that they breed like a live bear but lay eggs. It's pretty cool. But personally, although they're a shy fish, there's not much I enjoy more than watching them zip through the water column like this uh, and go crazy at the surface. And these are a fish that don't require big numbers. Um, they're always shy, but it's certainly much more impressive to see them when they're kept in groups like this. If you follow me on Instagram on my uh, fish page, at Ms. Jinxed, I like to post pictures of these guys hiding in plain sight because as long as they can't see you, they think you can't see them and it's really pretty hilarious. They'll lay like with just their face under a leaf and think that they're completely hidden. You can see some of the algae I was talking about and that's really just because I haven't bothered to do much or any, you can see that, that's a male there with that fin. Um, I have done very little manual removal. You can see some of the pygmaeus. There's quite a lot in here. Uh, there's also some hostatus quarries.
usually the dwarf quarries that are in this tank hang out on this side where there's slower flow. I do have that Siche shark in this tank to provide some directional flow because the um, oil cats really like it. So these guys tend to hang out on this side of the aquarium and the honeycomb cats hang out on the other side. It's, it's been kind of fun to be able to have this set up, this whole aquarium set up to suit everybody. Now their water parameter needs are very similar, but their flow needs are quite different. can see just it looks like these guys have swallowed marbles there's really no reason that they shouldn't be breeding other than that I must not be meeting some nutritional need although spring is coming so who knows well I guess we're technically in spring anyway let me know down in the comments what particular aquarium you would like to see me show you next. Um, I do have lots of video projects in the works, but I have to tell you, um, this, it, I haven't been able to get the last of the supplies of a lot of things, and I am not one to take gambles with my family's health, so uh, might just be on hold for the near future. Um, I do have a few products to try out for you guys, and I do have some other interesting videos about botanicals and stuff that I want to share with you. Um, but if you're looking for more content from me that isn't necessarily fish related, I do have my second channel, which is called Plantaholic, where I've been doing uh, plant species spotlights and care videos, and I'm really enjoying it. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support you guys have shown me both there and here. And I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy.